Imagine a moment where everything familiar in your life starts to dissolve. The routines, relationships and habits all begin to feel different. It's as if the world around you is shifting, but this change is not something you can physically see. Instead, it's a deep, subtle transformation, like a wave of energy moving beneath the surface of your life. You can sense it, though you can't quite explain it. You're not the same person you were yesterday and there's no going back. This is the beginning of your spiritual awakening, a journey that's both beautiful and terrifying. In a spiritual awakening, the veils that once clouded your perception start to lift. You begin to see through illusions, the societal norms, the identities you've adopted, the limiting beliefs you once held. Suddenly you feel drawn to something greater, more authentic, more aligned with your true self. But to truly grow on this path, you must also let go. Today we're diving into six things that highly spiritual souls slowly quit as they awaken to their true nature. These aren't just habits, but deep-rooted aspects of life that many hold on to for comfort out of fear or conditioning. Releasing them is both challenging and liberating. 1. Letting go of external validation. The first thing highly spiritual souls quit is the need for external validation. In today's world, we're often bombarded with messages about approval, likes, comments, followers, all reinforcing the idea that our worth depends on how others perceive us. It's easy to get trapped in the belief that validation comes from outside ourselves. But as your spiritual journey deepens, you start to realize that true validation only comes from within. You begin to understand that other people's opinions are reflections of their own inner worlds, not a measure of your true value. Slowly you quit needing to be liked or understood by everyone. Instead, you find peace in your own self-worth. This freedom from seeking approval opens a door to live more authentically and with a deeper sense of inner peace. Another thing that spiritual souls let go of is their attachment to material possessions. Our society equates success with the accumulation of wealth, cars, houses, and designer clothes. But when you're on a spiritual path, you start to see these things for what they truly are, temporary, fleeting, and ultimately unsatisfying. True abundance, you discover, is not about what you have, but about who you are. It's about the richness of your inner world, the depth of your connections, and the love you cultivate within. So you begin to simplify. You declutter your life, not just physically, but mentally and emotionally. You quit the need to constantly acquire more, and instead you focus on what truly nourishes your soul. You don't have to give up material things entirely, but your relationship with them changes. You no longer define yourself by what you own. You start to find joy in experiences, in moments of presence, rather than in possessions. As humans, we're conditioned to believe that we must control every aspect of our lives to ensure our happiness and success. We fear the unknown, failure and chaos, so we cling to control. But one of the greatest shifts that happens in spiritual awakening is the realization that control is an illusion. The more we try to control, the more we resist the natural flow of life. Slowly you begin to let go of the need to micromanage everything. You trust in the process, in divine timing, in the unfolding of your life's journey. You start to realize that there is a bigger plan at work, one that you may not always understand, but one that's guiding you toward your highest good. This doesn't mean you become passive or indifferent. It means you learn to surrender. You set your intentions, take action, and then release your attachment to the outcome, trusting that whatever happens is exactly what's needed for your growth. As your spiritual awareness grows, you start to reassess the relationships in your life. You notice the connections that drain your energy, hold you back, or keep you stuck in old patterns. These might be relationships you've maintained out of fear, obligation, or comfort 
But as you evolve, you realize they no longer serve your highest good. Letting go of toxic relationships is a painful but necessary part of the journey. It's hard to release people you care about, but you begin to prioritize your well-being and spiritual growth. In their place, you attract relationships that uplift you, support your journey, and resonate with your true self. You surround yourself with like-minded souls who inspire, challenge, and help you grow into the best version of yourself. As you continue to awaken, you stop compromising your authentic self to fit in or make others comfortable. Throughout life, we often play roles or wear masks to conform to societal expectations, but this comes at a cost, our joy, authenticity, and inner peace. Spiritually evolved souls slowly quit this habit. They start to embrace their true selves with all their flaws, quirks, and unique qualities. Living authentically brings a sense of freedom. You no longer diminish who you are to please others. You stand in your truth unapologetically and live in alignment with your deepest values. As a result, you attract people and opportunities that resonate with your true self. You create a life that feels aligned with who you really are. Finally, one of the most profound shifts in the spiritual journey is the gradual release of the fear of death. This might seem like a heavy topic, but it's one that spiritual souls come to terms with as they grow in awareness. Death, once feared as an ending, is now seen as a transition, a natural part of the cycle of life. You start to understand that your essence, your soul, is eternal. Death is simply a doorway to another dimension of existence. This realization brings peace. You no longer live in fear of the unknown, but in trust of the divine plan. You begin to live more fully in the present, appreciating the beauty and impermanence of life. With this acceptance, you free yourself from the limitations of fear and open yourself to life's fullest expression. As you continue your spiritual journey, you'll find that quitting external validation, material attachments, control, toxic relationships, compromising your authenticity, and the fear of death becomes a natural part of your growth. It's a process, one that requires patience, self-compassion, and trust. But as you let go of these old patterns, you create space for something much greater, your true self, your true purpose, and a life aligned with your soul. If you found this insight helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with someone who might benefit. Subscribe for more content on spiritual growth and let's continue this journey together. Leave a comment below with your thoughts or personal experiences and let's build a community of awakened souls.